north of Hogan Road and west of Southside Boulevard. That's where, if there is a tornado, uh, that's where it is going to be forming uh, pretty much at any time or at a moment's notice. And as we get new radar information, you can see we have the green and the red that are really close together. If those colors go hot, if they get really bright, well, that's what we're looking for, at least in terms of a circulation or a potential tornado. We don't want to see that, but unfortunately, that's what we have right here. The colors aren't really bright, but they are right next to right next to each other, uh, just south of Altama Road. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more uh, to get a little more streets and uh, maybe even some neighborhoods on the map here. Grove Park Boulevard, Holiday Road South. There's Beach Boulevard. Again, there are a lot of little side streets that kind of branch off of Beach Boulevard there west of Southside Boulevard before we get to the Hard Expressway split. There is a Grampian Drive. Service in Jacksonville has issued a tornado warning for East Central Duval County in northeastern Florida until 2.45 p.m. At 2.20 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near the University of North Florida, moving north at 15 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris would be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Jacksonville, Arlington, and Craigfield around 2.25 p.m. Fort Caroline around 2.30 p.m. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 2.45 p.m. for the following county, Duval, Florida. St. John's Bluff, all the way up through Craig Airport and Mayport. The area that is most dangerous right now, yeah, there's a lot of lightning and heavy rain going on, but there's a tornado warning in effect, and if there is a tornado to form, it's going to be right in here, uh, very near Beach Boulevard and where the Hard Expressway kind of splits off there. So that's the area that we're watching very closely. I'm going to switch right now to the First Alert Skycam Network because uh, we, we essentially have this trained uh, right on this area. Uh, this is our Riverside First Alert Sky Kim Network. We don't have a great view of it here. We're kind of shrouded in rain as we're looking out over the South Bank. Uh, there are the bridges, and then there's just the edge of downtown Jacksonville. This is, is where that potential circulation would be, right in here. But we can't really see anything because of the rain and the low clouds. Uh, we are getting some new information from the National Weather Service. I'm going to check in on that right now. Uh, the circulation is moving along Beach Boulevard. It's beginning to wash out. The tornado threat is diminishing. Uh, that's kind of what we were talking about just a minute or two ago. That circulation does look a lot weaker. The tornado warning, though, is still in effect. We're going to hang with this on CBS 47 and Fox 30 until the tornado warning is done and the threat is over. Uh, there is still a very, very weak and small circulation, and, and that's it right there. If you live near and just north of Beach Boulevard, west of Southside Boulevard, uh, very near the the hard expressway uh, where that branches oh, off boy. there uh, you got to be in the left lane to get up and go to the right but that's where the the road splits off there if you're headed westbound on beach boulevard and then uh, eventually get into the heart bridge so the the potentially dangerous area here is just north of beach boulevard south right where I'm of at. crane avenue and uh, this is well to the south of atlanta boulevard as well as uh, let's let's kind of take a look at a wider view here. That's the entire tornado warning box. So even all the way up to Fort Caroline and out toward Mayport, uh, we are live on 104.5 WOKV. If you are in your car, we have torrential rain over the East Beltway of 295 
and Southside Boulevard. This is an electric and intense storm. So uh, 